Well, hi there from the Sun Sentinel Newsroom on this post-Super Bowl Monday. Doug Phillips here. I hope you enjoyed the hoopla surrounding the, uh, the National Anthem, the Black Eyed Peas, the amusing commercials, and uh, yeah, there was a football game in there some way, somewhere as well. Uh, you know, all the Monday morning quarterbacking you could ever want in print and online at sunsentinel.com, so take advantage of that. Hey, a real compelling, compelling video right there as well at sunsentinel.com on the home page. Uh, you've heard, no doubt, of the thieves who use the skimmer devices, they're called, to steal credit card and debit card information. Uh, when you use the uh, ATM or any kind of uh, payment device, or you slide your card in. Well, accompanying Susan Jacobson's story, there's a video showing uh, just how those thieves can steal your information and your identity uh, using those skimmers. Real good information there in that piece. It's looking like a busy Monday here in South Florida. There is a protest scheduled outside uh, Boca Raton this morning at the start of the activities for the Champions Golf Tour event. Uh, Holocaust survivors accuse the title sponsor, Allianz, of refusing to pay insurance claims from policies that were written before their relatives were put to death by the Nazis. Uh, elsewhere in the state, uh, at a Tea Party gathering in Eustis, that's pretty much in the middle of nowhere in central Florida. Uh, Governor Rick Scott will outline two years worth of budget recommendations to the legislature. Uh, Florida has a budget shortfall of uh, uh, exceeding three and a half billion dollars and a number of the governor's recommendations to uh, close that gap. They're quite controversial uh, among state lawmakers, so uh, we'll see. Updates at sunsentinel.com and full story and analysis coming up in the paper itself.